Hey there, YouTubers. Welcome back to my channel. So if you haven't seen my other two videos on this box muzzle, alternative to a regular nylon tight muzzle, um, go watch those. Well, I welcome you to go watch those. The one video shows you what they're for and talks about why you would want to use these. The other one um, teaches you how to measure your pet for one of these. This thing is awesome. So the supplies that you'll need, and I probably have forgotten about something, but I'll add it in later when I'm showing you how to put it together. So you just get this um, piece of mesh that you can get at most craft stores. Um, you'll need some yarn and a tape measure. I like to use um, a big plastic needle. Um, you don't necessarily have to do this. You can always tape the end of your yarn or um, maybe melt it with a lighter. I would probably burn the whole storm. Um, or, you know, use some glue and just kind of make a little point out of the end of it so it's not all frayed. A scissor, and I don't know how to crochet, and I want to get this video done today, so I'm going to be using this Crown Royal bag. I'm just going to cut it down. Um, it's probably going to have to be um, about a third of this this size, so she won't have the little Crown Royal um, advertisement on there, but um, I'll show you about how I go about putting this little gadget together and cutting this out. Okay, so little Sadie's head was um, from the, the point of her nose to the, the smart bump, the occiput, the, the bump on the top of her head, three inches. So that's what I want to cut my plastic to. I've already got my pieces cut out and they seem really small, but once you get them all put together, you're going to end up with a, a decent size um, plastic muzzle box. So you can use a scissor for this. Um, I just prefer to use my cutting mat. Um, so you want to measure three inches and go ahead and just cut this. And you'll want five squares. So um, get those cut out and then I'll show you a little, little hint because you may end up with um, little sharp pointy things right here. And so I'll show you how to get rid of those too. Okay, so if you get the little um, sharp pointy things on the edge of it, uh, you can always cut closer, but then you're going to take the chance that you're going to cut into that main um, line of plastic and it's going to weaken the actual box once you sew it all together. So if you just take a lighter and just lightly melt them and just smooth them out, um, you know, you don't have to get rid of them completely, but if they're sharp, they're going to become an annoyance. Um, they're going to catch on the hair or the yarn is going to get all frayed up and messed up. So that's just a little, little key, little hint. Okay. So I've got a really ugly knot on the end here, but this is how you want to go about sewing this together. You're going to want to loop this around and keep coming in through the back side. And I've got half of it done here so you can see. Um, and also don't pull this super tight because then when you open this up, it's going to cave in the edges. So I come in through the back side and in through the back side until you get one little side of it done. And then I will show you the next step in just a second. Okay, so after you get all of your five squares sewn together like this, then you start <laughs> going up on the other. <laughs> Daddy's home, can you tell? Hi. So then you start uh, sewing up the edge and then you just continue with all of four sides and that will make most of this box. Okay, so for this part, like I said, I was just gonna use a crown royal bag because I don't know how to crochet. So how to judge um, how, how wide this needs to be I did this uh, two and a half inches and the plastic is actually three inches. So you don't want it quite as long as the plastic squares themselves. So I thought I was gonna get lucky with this Crown Royal bag and it would be easy to make little um, holes in it using the hole punch to sew through easier. That uh, paper hole punch doesn't work and I don't have my leather one anymore. Also, as you can see, 
I thought I was going to get lucky and this wouldn't free. So I had to go and do a zigzag, zigzag, zigzag stitch on it so I can hope that it doesn't fray and just fall apart on me. So what I'm going to do is this would work so much better with um, not a plastic needle, but we're going to see how this goes. It went through pretty good. So I'm just stitching on this side of the, the zigzag stitch. And then what I'll do is start assembling it. So this is really hard to do through the camera because I'm trying to look and so and I'll have to bunch it up a little bit, like kind of fold it as I'm going because obviously this is this is bigger than the box itself. So every few stitches I'll just make a little pinch and then I have to go through two layers. But I'll be back when it's all finished and done and show you the end result. Well, it's finished. Uh, have I mentioned that this is a channel of no judgment? Because uh, please don't judge me on this. This is hand sewing is not my my strong suit so uh definitely the one that my friend norma stitz crocheted um looks a lot better than this one but this worked so you could use pretty much anything i would stay away from the crown royal bags i just thought it would be easier because it's already got the tie in it and blah blah, blah. but it frays and it's it's just kind of a pain in the butt a, a crown royal pain in the butt but we're gonna see how it works. So, and then I'll give you a little close up. So while I was making this, Sadie kept running and hiding from me. So, um, yeah, it fits her. Is your my crown royal pain in the butt? And this would be just as easy to get off with these little pull, pull ties. I don't know like <clears throat> how well it would stay on if you have a dog that is constantly bugging at it, but. We'll see, because I will be using this on dogs that I, I groom at work. So I really kind of butchered it, but um, you can see I just went around and sewed through the mesh and then through the fabric all the way around. Had to bunch it up a few times. <laughs> it looks really bad, but it works. Thanks for watching. Happy grooming.